Hello everyone, welcome to Lestreka. Today I'll be talking about a very serious question that I had in my mind for uh, many years and I believe that many of you have this question in your mind that uh, is an MTech degree in structural engineering compulsory to become a structural designer in, in the industry today? So uh, if you have, if you're pursuing uh, MTech in structural engineering or if you have an MTech degree that is well good while, while doing the MTech in structural engineering or the equivalent course, you'll be learning a lot of advanced things. You'll be learning the advanced analysis methods and uh, you'll be learning uh, various uh, advanced design methodologies. So obviously having an MTech degree uh, in structural engineering is very good. You'll be having a lot of knowledge but the question is is it compulsory to become a structural designer in the industry today so as per my opinion uh, the answer is no because uh, if you want to become a structural engine uh, design engineer in the industry today uh, you know that in today's world uh, most of the analysis part we do in different uh, software programs right so what we need to do uh, we need to give the right input to the software programs so that it can perform the analysis and from the analysis we can design it we can design the structural elements by hand or using the software also so the best uh, method to do the analysis is the software even if you see the codes in the codes also it is mentioned that you should create the 3d uh, software you can say 3d mathematical model in the softwares you should perform the analysis in the software then uh, you can go for the design manually or using the software itself okay so uh, softwares obviously uh, only running the softwares is not structural engineering you must have better understanding of how the structure is behaving now how you will learn how the structure is behaving without having a mtech degree right because in our uh, btech we used to uh, analyze a single beam a single column and we used to design those uh, beams and columns as a, uh, a particular member or particular element but as a whole as a whole a structure we don't uh, analyze or we don't design uh, this in our btech curriculum right so how we will be learning this see today the online media is very developed and there are many many experienced structural engineers who are, who are willing to share their knowledge so if you see in YouTube, there are various uh, YouTube channels like Oxen, we have SQEV uh, Consultants, we have Sismic Karyashala, even I do have my own uh, YouTube channel that is Illustrica, all if you know. Uh, then uh, we have uh, Epicons. So there are so many uh, YouTube channels from where you can learn the fundamentals of structural engineering. They have, they do have their own platforms also, like if you see Oxen.in, if you see Sismic Karyashala or SQV Consultants, they have different courses which are very advanced. So from those online courses also you can learn. Even I do have online courses on uh, fundamentals of structural engineering, basically on uh, building design. So you can learn the, the things or you can say the you can understand the behavior of the structure from those courses because they are very experienced structural engineers and from them you can uh, actually have the clear view of how the structure is behaving under different loads whether it is a gravity load or lateral load how it is behaving and how you should uh, like how you should approach for uh, designing those elements under those uh, subjected to those uh, loads right so even without having an mtech degree you can have a clear view of how the structure is behaving under different loading conditions and how you should approach or you should go for uh, designing the structure right so getting for getting the knowledge you do not have to have a uh, mtech degree you can learn those things from those online platforms also there are free contents there are like in youtube you will find the free contents uh, there is another channel which is called uh, Decode BD. Uh, he is amazing. Like in this channel, you will be uh, seeing all the software programs you can learn from there, right? So uh, the, the first thing is you must have that idea how the structural elements are behaving subjected to different loads, right? So these things you can learn by reading different journals, different books. Those uh, online platforms are available. You can learn from them. 
and uh, designing part we do we have uh, learned the design part in our btech and if you read the code books like like is uh, 456 is uh, 13920 or different uh, international codes if you are designing with international codes so if you read the code books the code book itself is uh, self explanatory you will be having all the formulas you can use for the design you can create your own design sheet so what we do actually in the industry today uh, this is the fact actually uh, we are doing the analysis in the software programs and we are designing it by hand or uh, by the software right so few things we uh, design it by hand or few things we design in the software program so uh, i don't think that you must have a mtech degree to know all the things to know the structural behavior so these things you can learn from anywhere today the resources are available everywhere if you see sqv consultants they have amazing uh, webinars very uh, experienced structural engineers do uh, you can say share their views share their experience of structural uh, design right so uh, having an mtech degree uh, it is it is not compulsory so if you if i uh, if anyone tell you that you must have an mtech degree uh, to become a structural engineer i think it is wrong so it is totally my own opinion uh, you may not be agreeing with me so if you have a different opinion please do write in the comment i i would love to uh, know about your opinion also about this so uh, this is to my all my juniors or all the enthusiasts who want to become a structural engineer uh, in future it is better to or better to learn the proper skill right or to have the proper knowledge rather uh, running behind a mtech degree there are many uh, engineers who are having mtech degree but that not they are not capable of uh, you can say doing the structural design properly right and if you see there are many uh, engineers who have only a btech degree but they have designed a lot of great structures today and uh, they are having a lot of experience today right if you want to become a structural engineer you do not need a degree you just need a passion you just need enthusiasm and uh, if you want to learn there are resources are available everywhere you just have to get into the uh, you can say learning process if you do not have a passion if you do not have enthusiasm to learn then uh, then mtech degree is just a piece of paper nothing else uh, i hope uh, you have got your answer thank you and i'll see you in the next video